my fellow Americans and Canadians and everyone, everyone else. If I, I just want to tell you that uh, if if everybody would just take some time to dissect some flowers from time to time, this world would be much, much kinder and safer and gentler place and, well, that's what I believe. Lionel Messi, you've just had one of your best seasons ever, an incredible season. Yes. What uh, has helped you become such a good soccer player? Well, you know, I think it all goes back to my science class. Uh, we did a lot of dissections and, uh, well, I uh, really liked the flower dissection. It was very important. And that's really, I think, what helped me become such a good soccer player over the years, you know. Kevin, we're really wondering at this point in your career, what flower is your favorite really to dissect? There's so many to choose from, you know, but what would be your favorite at this point in your career? What do you think? Uh, it's got to be the lily. They're just beautiful. I love giving them to my mom, and uh, they're great. So you may have heard that I'm going to be giving up uh, fighting, and I'm going to be opening up a new store, a flower shop. Uh, flowers are great. They never hit you. They just look good, and they smell nice. We're here with Robert Turbin from the Seattle Seahawks. And Robert, you guys just lost. You're out of the playoffs. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts at this point? Oh, man, oh, man, we lost. You know, but um, they, they beat us on the field, but I bet we beat them in science class. Hello, science class. Today we are doing a dissection. Here's how we will do it. We are going to be doing a flower dissection with lilies, and we'll be using microscopes. And so we're going to start by cutting it from the stem. And so we're going to start by just peeling off uh, a few parts. So remember to follow your lab. It'll have all the instructions. So just with your fingers, you can pull off the petals. And after each step, make sure that you are uh, answering any questions or filling in, in information that you're supposed to um, as you go. So those are the petals. We're left with the reproductive stru structures. Okay, from the reproductive structures you can see the stamen surrounding the pistil and again we're just going to peel off uh, one of the stamen and the flowers that you have are a little bit more fresh than these. This one's a little bit older. Um, but I'd like you to read the lab and answer any questions that I have about the structure of the stamen, the anther and the filament. When the flower hasn't completely opened, then the anther's pollen sacs are closed so that the pollen grains can mature inside. And that is a brilliant design because it also helps the flower to avoid self-pollination. And as the flower begins to open, the pollen sacs begin to flip inside out, revealing the pollen grains inside. Then eventually the pollen sacs are completely flipped and the flower is ready to spread its pollen. One of the things we're going to do with uh, our stamen is scrape some of the pollen grains off of the anther, put them onto a microscope slide, and then observe them underneath the microscope. Now you're going to take the remainder of the stamen and remove them so that we're left with just the female reproductive structures the pistil which is made of the stigma, the style and then the ovary at the base so what we're left with is the female reproductive structure called the pistil it's got the stigma at the top, the style and then the ovary at the base and we're gonna cut the style at the bottom and we want to look at the stigma under the microscope and look at the top part there. So you can cut here again and then just this part is going to go on your microscope slide and you can observe what that looks like under low power and then medium power, trying to look at the very top of it. Okay, and now what we have is the ovary connected to the base of the stem and so we're just going to cut the ovary off of the stem just at the bottom. 
So we have the ovary on a microscope slide, which is nice to work with for cutting. And some of you are still uh, getting used to sharp objects, so very carefully. The easiest way to cut this is to hold it very firmly with um, some tweezers and then to slowly just cut right down the middle of it. That'll open it up. And now there are ovules inside there, but it's hard to see that with just your eyes. So we're going to place this whole thing underneath the microscope under lots of light. First at low power and then uh, move up to medium power. So when you cut open the ovary on the microscope slide, you end up having two halves like this and then you're going to place it under the microscope and you'll hopefully be able to see under low power with lots of light ovules on either side. So the ovules probably can't see them with, with just the naked eye, but if you look uh, under a microscope, hopefully you'll be able to see two rows like that of ovules, which contain the eggs. So then after you've done that, you can clean up your tools and answer any questions, and then you are all done. Enjoy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the lab. We're going to walk down the hall very quietly. We're going to go dissect those flowers. We're going to work safely with the knives and tools. We're going to we're going to learn something. All right. Thank you.